Hi everyone, welcome to We Draw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about copper. So now let's get straight to it. Copper is a transition metal, located in group 11 and period 4 of the periodic table. With an atomic number of 29, a typical copper atom has 29 protons, 29 electrons, and 34 neutrons. The word copper comes from the Latin word cuprum that was derived from the phrase cyprium ice, which means a metal from Cyprus, a place known for its copper mines. Did you know that copper was one of the first metals worked by humans? Ancient Egyptians used copper alloys for jewelry like toe rings, and copper compounds like malachite and azurite for vibrant eye makeup. Copper can be alloyed with tin to make bronze and with zinc to make brass. These alloys are harder than pure copper. During the Bronze Age, people used bronze to make tools and weapons such as swords, helmets, and spearheads. The Niebuhr sky disk from Germany is a 3,600-year-old sky map made from bronze. While bronze was used much earlier, brass became more widespread much later. Its gold-like luster made it prized for jewelry and coins. Copper is solid at room temperature with a distinctive reddish-orange metallic luster. It is one of the few metals, alongside gold, that naturally has a non-silvery color. Copper has a melting point of about 1,085 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 2,562 degrees Celsius. With a density of 8.96 grams per cubic centimeter, it is relatively dense, though lighter than metals like lead. Copper is often referred to man's eternal metal due to its durability and resistance to corrosion. It ranks as the third most consumed industrial metal in the world, after iron and aluminum. Copper is a soft, malleable, and ductile metal. It can be easily stretched with excellent electrical conductivity, making it a top choice for wires, electronics, and telecommunication cables. Due to its high corrosion resistance, copper is widely used in plumbing. It is also used in shipbuilding, as copper coating helps protect wooden ships from damage caused by barnacles, shipworms, and saltwater. Did you know that an average conventional car contains around 18 to 50 pounds of copper? Modern vehicles, like hybrids and electric cars, require up to 180 pounds due to their complex electrical systems and higher energy demands. Nevertheless, copper is 100% recyclable without any changes to its properties. It is estimated that nearly 80% of the copper that has been mined is still in use today. The Statue of Liberty in New York has more than 80 tons of copper. Originally, it was copper in color and became green due to oxidation. The verdigris layer protects the underlying metal from further degradation. Copper is naturally antibacterial. It is commonly used in doorknobs and door handles in public buildings to prevent disease transmission. It is also used as an intrauterine device to prevent pregnancy. The US penny was originally made of pure copper. Today, it is composed of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper, with only a thin copper coating. Besides coins, copper is also used in jewelry as it could enhance the hardness, flexibility, and color of the material. The addition of copper to gold creates rose gold. Did you know that an adult human body contains around 1.4 to 2.1 milligrams of copper per kilogram of body weight? Copper is essential for blood cell formation and the functioning of various enzymes. Copper earthing systems protect buildings from lightning strikes through conductors. Because they are less likely to cause sparks, copper tools are used when working with explosives. Well, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.